Welcome to JTV. Today I would like to demonstrate how to do a basic startup and operation of a Yaskawa A1000 AC drive using the keypad. The demonstration today will be using an 1800 RPM motor and values for the parameters should be motor specific and may differ upon application use. Wiring should also be verified by a qualified electrician before operating the drive. To begin, I'll need to have a better understanding of the keypad. The A1000 has an easy to read LCD screen. It displays the operation mode menu in the upper left corner and the mode display in the upper right hand corner along with an indicator to show when the drive is ready to run. The main display here shows specific data and operation data. There is a frequency reference assignment on the top that shows where the frequency reference is assigned to. On the right, just below the dotted line, shows where the run command is supplied from. This could be from the operator keypad, which would be the local source or from a remote source. The bottom line in the center of the display has the forward and reverse indicator, which lets me know if the drive has forward or reverse direction selected. The function keys on both sides of the display indicate what the function of the F1 and F2 key are. If the drive is in remote mode, the box above the F2 key will be blanked out. In addition to the F1 and F2 keys, the keypad also has an escape key to return to the previous display and in some cases moves the cursor one space to the left. The reset key here moves the cursor to the right and resets the drive to clear a fault situation. The up and down arrow keys scroll through parameter settings and changes the set value. The local remote key toggles where the run command is supplied from. When the drive is in local mode, this little green light should illuminate in the upper left corner of the key. Below this is the enter key which enters parameter values and settings. The last two keys are the run and stop keys. These keys are used to start and stop the motor. To begin the quick setup of the A1000 drive, I will push the local remote key to put the drive into local operation. Next, I will push the arrow key down a few times until I get to quick setting. I will push enter to access the parameters menu. I can change which parameter I would like to edit by using the arrow keys to scroll up or down. For this basic startup, I will not need to change much from the defaults, but it is still important to know what each parameter is. I can see the A1-06 parameter, which is the application preset. For this demonstration, I would like to keep this at zero for general purpose, but there are options for a water supply pump, conveyor, exhaust fan, HVAC fan, or an air compressor. The parameter A1-02 is the control method, where I can choose to have an open loop vector, closed loop vector, or VF control. The B parameters are application related settings. B1-01 is the analog input that defines the frequency reference source for remote operation. Going up 1 is the B1-02 parameter. That is the digital input that defines the run source for remote operation. Going up 1 more to B1-03 is the stopping method. Right now the drive will ramp to stop, but could be coast to stop or use DC injection braking to stop. The next two settings, C1-01 and C1-02, are used to change the acceleration time and deceleration time of the motor. The default is currently 10 seconds for both. The D parameter is the frequency reference and allows me to set multiple frequency references to override the speed of the motor during operation through the use of a remote device. I can set up to four points on the quick setup. Now I can input my motor data. I will scroll up to the parameters starting with the letter E. This is where I will input my motor parameters. 
E1-01 is the input voltage setting where I am able to set the parameter to the nominal input voltage of the AC power supply. Right now, the value is set to 230 volts, which is the default value. The drive will display what the setting range is here and below. That is the default value in quotations. The next parameter that I want to change is E1-04, and that is the maximum output frequency. I will hit enter to edit the value. I prefer to have 60 Hz as my max frequency, which is the default value here. Since the maximum frequency is already set to my desired value, I will press the enter key to save it. I can now scroll up to E1-05 to adjust the maximum voltage. I will hit enter to edit the value and change it to 230 volts. The black cursor on the left side here is flashing, which means I am in edit mode. I can move the cursor left or right by pushing the function keys or by pushing reset for right and escape for left. I can now move over to the appropriate digit and change it to using the up arrow key. I will then push the enter key to save the value. My next parameter is E1-06, which is the base frequency. This should remain at 50 or 60 Hz, depending on the default. Next, I will go to E1-09 to change the maximum frequency, and I will keep this also at the default value. To continue inputting my motor data, I will scroll up to E201. I can then press enter to change the motor rated current. The default says 3.3 amps, but this motor is rated a little smaller than that. Following the data found on the motor's nameplate, I know that this motor has a rated current of about 2 amps. I will hit enter and scroll over to the 3 and use the arrow keys to change the value to a 2. The next parameter is E2-04. This defines the number of motor poles. For an 1800 RPM motor, this is typically 4 poles. But if the motor was 3600 RPM, then it would be 2 poles. My next value to change is E2-11, which is the motor rated power. I will push the up arrow key to scroll over to the parameter and then push the enter key. Using the nameplate, I know the motor's power is 0.11 kilowatts. If the motor Depending was rated on the drive model and I can duty, the default the value for the motor rated power will differ since 1 horsepower equals 0.746 kilowatts. I can scroll over using the function key and then use the up and down arrows to change the value accordingly. Once finished, I will push enter to save. If one of the inputted parameters conflicts with another, the A1000 will illuminate an alarm in the upper right hand corner along with a fault message. Once the parameter is changed, the alarm should turn off and the drive will resume normal operation. Once I am finished inputting my motor data, I should be able to run my drive. I will push escape twice to get back to the initial LCD screen and then push the run button. The green light in the corner should illuminate, but the motor will remain stationary. Using the keypad, I can push enter to adjust the speed of the drive. I can change the value to 20 Hz in the same way I inputted the motor data with the arrow keys. I will push enter to save and the motor will ramp up to 20 Hz. By repeating this step, I can change the speed of the motor again. After I have saved the speed, I can change the direction of the motor by pushing the F2 key here and then enter. The motor will stop and then ramp up to the set speed in the other direction. To stop the motor, push the red stop key. The Escawa A1000 AC drive along with thousands of other products and services are available at galco.com.